What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today I have a little something different for you. My sweet plant friends, let's talk about coping. For a lot of us, plants have always been our refuge. After a stressful day, a fight with a friend or a spouse, we could retrieve to our favorite nursery, greenhouse, or even just head to Home Depot and poke around the plants. Ah, uh, we were so free then. So now things have changed, at least for a little while. Many of the comforts that we're used to are gone. We either have to stay home or we're essential workers, putting ourselves at risk every single day. Some of us can't see our kids, our parents, our friends, and it all feels like too much sometimes and the bad news is hard to escape. First death from coronavirus here in the United States. The intensive care unit has no beds left. This is one of Europe's most advanced hospitals and it's on its knees. Sanjay, the deadliest day in the United States so far. A body left discarded on the sidewalk. They're reduced to treating patients in warehouses and tents. This is a mass grave being dug for coronavirus victims at New York City's Potter's Field. 179 deaths in just 24 hours. America is not prepared. But we're getting through it, you and I. So let's talk about how. I've asked a few friends to help me out with this video and you may recognize some of them. We're gonna to talk to you about what we're doing to get through this difficult time. For me, coping has been zeroing in on my plants, my garden, trying to beautify the world that I can do something about right now, and dancing. You guys might not know this about me, but I love to dance. And there's no possible way that I can stay sad for very long if I have loud music going and especially when nobody's home. You can just be crazy and let loose. I highly recommend it, especially if you're going through this on your own. Let's check in with some friends and see what they've been doing. And stick around till the end. We have a message for you. I know it's a hard time right now. Um, and I know that you're going to go through some struggles. We all are. But what's important to remember is you're not alone in this. You're really not. And uh, I want to make sure that you know that, along with a lot of other people and other friends like Louis here. And with all this time we have on our hands, whilst this all happens, I implore you to look a little closer at the world because it might just surprise you a little bit to stay sane read a book learn something new make some new friends hi everybody i'm becca from de la plant and i hope that you're all doing well during this crazy time i know that it can be so hard to be stuck at home but some of the things that i've been doing to stay sane right now is watching a lot of america's next top model actually reading the books that I buy. And since I live in an apartment, I have this small little patio. So there's a small ray of sunlight that just kind of chills there for a little bit. And I'll go and I'll lay down just in that one small sliver of sunlight, kind of like cats do that in our homes. So that's what I've been doing. Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay from Just Uno Mas. And to keep myself sane these days, I am thoroughly enjoying something that I wouldn't be able to do if I were at work and that is taking a nap with my son in the morning during his nap time. He's 20 months old and still very much in the cuddle monster stage and I'm just trying to enjoy every second of that and just find the joy where I can. Hi you guys, my name's Rachel from Heart Shape Lees and here are some of the things that I'm doing these days to stay sane during quarantine. Yoga! Ugh. Or you can do laundry. There is always a ton of laundry to do in this house because six people live here and only one person does laundry. There's dishes. 
always to be done. You know how much we love doing that. My name is Pam from Plammy's Planty Things, and the one thing that calms me down and soothes me during this time is snuggling up with Buddy, watching TV. Hello everyone, my name is Casey, or Plant with Casey here on YouTube, and the one way I've been dealing with this quarantine is actually writing in my anxiety journal. Now, you don't really need to use a specific journal. This one has definitely helped me more than just writing it out, but just write out your feelings, write out what you're going through. If you feel like you can't talk to anybody, it's the perfect way to just get all of those feelings out. This one in particular is from Green Sweet, and this was a Christmas present for me from my sister because before all this happened, I've already dealt with anxiety. Just reading this has been like little reminders of what I can do to combat the feelings that I'm going through. So I would highly recommend just writing your feelings out, honestly. Hey guys, Nicole here from My Clean Leaves. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this crazy time. Another thing I hope you guys are doing is I hope you're staying sane during this crazy time. Something I like to do every day is just kind of get out of my house in my backyard where there are no other human beings and just breathe in some fresh air because... As far as I know, the air is still clean. I'm also trying to really keep up with my plants. This is a great time to start fertilizing because it's spring now and it's time to fertilize our plants. So that's definitely something I've been trying to do to keep sane. Depression naps are a favorite of mine also. I mean, really, it really is. Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth from Elizabeth Plants and this quarantine I have really been allowing myself to take breaks. I am a go, go, go type of person and I like to stay busy and I like to feel productive. So breaks are really difficult for me because they feel, they feel so unproductive and so almost useless. Um, so I highly recommend taking breaks and being, working on being okay with that. It's hard for somebody like me, but I'm finding that I'm bogging down so much quicker if I don't take breaks these days. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that if you are struggling to take breaks, they can be short breaks, that's fine, but take breaks. Hey Pam subscribers, my name is Sydney and I have a very small YouTube channel called Peaceful Planting. As you all know, I am here to tell you one thing that I am doing in quarantine to keep myself sane. For me, that happens to be doing yoga every single morning when I wake up. Doing yoga really helps reduce a lot of my anxiety. I think it's so important to focus on ourselves right now and how we're feeling to process that because of all of the stress in the world right now. Yoga is something that you can do at your home and you can even look up YouTube videos if you don't know how to do yoga. It also helps us keep our bodies moving right now while we're in quarantine instead of sitting on the couch watching TV or sitting and studying if you're still in school. It gives you a chance to get up and start moving and focus on how you're feeling and maybe where you're holding some of your stress in your body. Never mind on the yoga bit. You can also go grab your kiddos for some fun and exciting playtime. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're not going down there. There's no way in hell I'm talking to those kids. You can also have a lot of fun just going around the house and caring for all of your plants. Do something. Hello everybody, my name is Cody and I am the host of the Plant Channel. So Pam asked me, hey, what are you doing to stay busy during quarantine? Well, one of the things that's been keeping me busy is I have decided to move my entire massive collection of plants from one location to another. So they were in the plant studio. Now it's spring and everything's out here in the greenhouse. Well, I say everything. There's still some still in there. So that's one thing that's been keeping me busy. Some more other things that have been keeping me busy is um, I've been working in the garden and I've been doing a lot of landscaping. So this quarantine has not slowed me down and it shouldn't slow you down either. Hello plant friends, my name is Svetlana, I am from Firefly in the room, this is my helper Rocky and today we want to talk about the recent situation happening in all over the world. It's not that easy to stay at home, but I think all of us can do it and we have some tips for you guys. So at least what I love to do, I love to bullet journal. So I have my journal and I just love doing and drawing stuff in here, you know, it's kind of 
chaotic time right now around us so i just love to have a plan not just you know be all over the places so for example recently i started exercising at home so i have some calendars you know for helping me out so simple stuff that is so common for us you can put it in the paper with your drawings with your fantasy and it will take your time you will meditate because i really do meditate while doing this i relax and just do my thing with a cup of coffee or tea and you know put some youtube videos for the background and just chill there you can also talk trash to your plants and it's also a very positive thing that you can do during quarantine. I swear to God, I'll put you on a Facebook group so fast, it'll turn your head. I don't have to put up with it, especially not from you. Do you know what other people's gloriosums look like? Not like this. Hey guys, it's Allie from Allie's Plants, and today I'm here to share with you one thing that's been keeping me at least a teeny little bit sane during this whole COVID-19 quarantine that we've all been dealing with. And for me personally, it's been keeping my physical space clean, organized, and aesthetically pleasing because we've all been spending a lot more time at home. You're gonna notice the mess more. And the more you notice the mess and don't do anything about it, it's gonna keep the little wires in your brain tangled up and it'll make you just be in a bad mental state I know from experience so take some time to clean take some time to maybe redecorate just make your space feel good to be in and I hope this advice has helped at least one person get the motivation to do the thing that they haven't been wanting to do plant friends I'm Scott from Scott Grows an avocado tree and to get through this time of social distancing there are a few things I've been doing first of all I know that it's very tricky uh, not being able to see anybody to feel connected and we are connected during this time so I've been hosting daily live streams to foster that community giving people a place to connect with each other and for me to connect with them has been really fantastic I've also been spending a lot of time in my garden and trying to get outside in safe places as much as I can. You know, going for my daily walk or run has been really helpful during this time. And while I'm home, doing things that help me, like establishing a routine, uh, finding things that I enjoy doing, the games, the books that I like to read, those kinds of things. We are gonna get through this one. Take care. Hey Pam and everyone else, I hope everyone is staying safe in these times. It's been pretty interesting. Quarantine's a little different for me because I'm an essential worker, hence, the gloves and the carrier on disinfecting wipes and the fashionable face masks. <laughs> but other than working and trying to stay safe at work, um, I've been doing a lot of plant stuff to keep saying some plant shopping. I bought a whole bunch of little terracotta pots. I bought some hanging macrame planters, which are here or here pop it's outside new propagation station get some propagations going and other than that just spending time with family facetiming with family who i can't spend time with and friends and i think what a lot of people are doing uh, the important things like uh, tiger king and la casa de papel just finished it it's very good and I know you guys are looking for something to spice up your marriages, so let me tell you how to do it. Every week or so, about every month or so, I take Casey's mouse and I put a piece of tape over that like that. And he's so neurotic, it takes him a really long time to figure out what's going on, so this is a fun little thing that you can do around the house. You're welcome. You too, you piece of garbage. Look at you. I swear to God, I will boot your ass out of this house so fast. Hey, hey. Rub here. Rebecca. Just not Becky. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, holding your breath around people, washing your hands, and staying away from people. So I've been working a ton of hours, lots of overtime, lots of days in a row, and the crazies are coming out of the woodwork. So it's been pretty stressful, but to stay sane and as normal as I possibly can, I've been trying to take lots of breaks whenever I possibly can at work and finding a pretty spot around campus to try to stay calm. But most importantly, I've been trying to laugh a little bit and trying to make other people have a break from reality and laugh too, because laughter really is the best form of therapy. Hi guys, my name is Aki. Pam have asked us, what is one thing that keeps me calm? Sorry, the bum. Keep me calm through this quarantine. I have two small kids 
and we live in a condo so we don't have yard so it's like every day I'm screaming I feel so bad about it but like you know that's that's life right but the thing I'm trying to do most to keep myself calm is to take care of my plants of course but I try to look through every plant from every single different angle because that's how I found like spider mites and all the pests that I didn't think I had. That's my calm thing to take care of my plants more closely. I hope this will help you guys to do the same. Hi everyone, my name is Emily from Fluttering Foliage and one tip I have for you to keep sane and happy while in quarantine is to plant some milkweed for our friends, the monarch butterflies. It's a very therapeutic activity and it also helps a species that is struggling like we are right now. So that's just one tip. I also recently discovered the um, Pause with Plants podcast, which is um, plant-based guided meditations. And they're only a few minutes long, so if you're scatterbrained like me, they are really lovely and they can help you feel grounded during this time. Or there's my personal favorite, crying in the shower. And a good friend once told me, if you cry in the shower, it doesn't count. Hey House Planters, it's Marina from Millennial Planter. I know it's been a really hard, a really stressful time in the world with everything going on. Something that's really helped me cope with everything aside from houseplant online shopping <laughs> is just honestly practicing on my health. I have been going for more walks and I've started running. I've also been getting back into yoga because I desperately just fell off the track and I'm just trying to work on my health and between the yoga and the running, it's really just given me at least an hour to get my mind off of things. It's been something that I look forward to now, even though me and running have a rough relationship, to say the least. So I hope you all are just staying safe and sane and healthy. We will get through this. And if all else fails, and you're a mom and you're totally overwhelmed with homeschooling, then just know that you're not the only one that my cheese has done slid off my cracker more than once. But I'll show you my last favorite thing that I like to do during a pandy. Salud. No chaser, cause I'm a big girl. And above all else, remember that I'm with you, always. I am with you. And Leo is with you as well. I'm with you. I'm with you. I am with you. I'm with you. I am with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's raining. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. And Peanut says the same. I'm with you. I'm with you. And Rocky's too. I'm with you. I'm with you. And I'm with you. Stay safe, stay well, and stay in touch. Until next time. I see that you're hurting. I see that you're down. I see how every dream return came back to call you out. Was ready to rumble, was ready to fight. Got lost in the thunder without alibis. Shout at the night, rage at the lies. Don't let the fear control what's deep within.